Hello everyone, this is Chris Mackey and welcome to your first ever Ladybug and Honeybee tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a very, very basic back to the roots tutorial for anyone who, particularly if you don't have any, any experience with Grasshopper or if you've never used Ladybug before, we're going to go all the way back, back to, the, to the very beginning. Um, and this video in particular, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Ladybug and Honeybee. Um, and, uh, and just show you how to install it uh, and get it running on your machine. Um, so to give you guys just a you know, basic start, Ladybug and Honeybee are environmental design analysis pr uh, plugins. Um, but to be more specific, Ladybug is a, a plugin that is designed in order to, to connect the Rhino geometry, the 3D modeling Rhino interface, and the parametric visual scripting interface of Grasshopper. Um, and combines that with, with Energy Plus weather data, which is a, a, a specific type of weather data that, that are, exists for many locations across the globe. And allows you to produce a bunch of awesome, crazy, interesting graphics uh, that are particularly helpful in early design phases. Um, and allows you to interact and edit these to make sort of meaningful statements about, about what type of design you might shoot for uh, with a certain project. Um, and just to be clear, this series is going to be just about Ladybug and just getting you started. But I want to give a, a sort of um, uh, just understanding off the bat that there is also a, a plugin that happens right next to Ladybug that is called Honeybee. And Honeybee is kind of this node in a, in a large ecosystem uh, that's, that's come to exist that connects that, that Rhino and Grasshopper interface um, to a bunch of very advanced open source uh, energy and daylight modeling engines. And now also to, to GBXML, which is becoming a new standard for a lot of, uh, of late design and, and, and uh, more hardcore analysis tools. Um, and so, and so that's, that's sort of, and, and I mentioned Honeybee in particular because more important than what these individual tools do and the specifics of that is that Ladybug and Honeybee together form an educational or, or a design pathway. And essentially it's something that's meant to lead you from very basic understandings of, of climate and data, weather data that you can use in early design or, or especially if you're a beginner and don't know, know Grasshopper or, or weather data too well. And it's meant to sort of lead you and, and by, you know, over time by getting used to, to, uh, to how to use the plugins, you're going to get access to some of the most advanced and state of the art, art energy modeling and daylight modeling tools that exist right now and be able to do very, very advanced stuff that leads you into late design and can really, really drive home the case for a certain thing that you may want to do. So, okay, so that's, that's a general summary of what Ladybug and Honeybee are. Oh, and there's one other important thing that I have to mention, and that is both Ladybug and Honeybee are open source projects. Um, and they're, they're both, so everything in Ladybug and Honeybee is written in Python. Um, and that was chosen specifically because it was a language that we felt a lot of people, uh, in, especially designers, knew already. Um, and so, so we wanted to make it as open as possible and allow you, I mean, if you know Python, you can sort of edit, edit, even edit some of the code and create very, very customized things um, for all the interesting and creative projects that you may want to do. Um, and, and it's also important, um, I mean, for, for the sake of the education, if only if you want to know what's going on underneath the hood, you can see it. It is, it is there for you. All right, so now that you have a, a, a summary, let's, let's talk about uh, what you will need in order to get started with Ladybug and Honeybee. So the first thing you need is, well, it's already kind of been mentioned, but you need a copy of Rhinoceros, which is a, the 3D modeling interface. Um, and if you don't have one already, you can, you can download one, a 90-day trial from the Rhinoceros site. Uh, Rhino is also very good with their educational versions and it's possible to, to buy one for relatively inexpensive compared to most software, uh, and which is a good license for life also, not to do too much advertising for, uh, for McNeil there. Um, but so you will need a copy of Rhino. Uh, you will also need Grasshopper installed. Um, which, so after you install Rhinoceros, you can, you can download Grasshopper here by going to their main webpage, grasshopper3d.com, and downloading it. Um, and, uh, and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just click on the, 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 the download. Notice that they say you need the most recent version of Rhino, which you should get if you download from that, that place. But you basically just hit download and, you know, and it will, will start. And you just, it's a very simple install. You need to sort of give them an email just so they can keep track of it. Um, but, but so once you run both of those, those EXEs that come in that download, 
Then, then what you're going to need in order to be able to run Ladybug and Honeybee. I, now, I mentioned that they're both written in Python, so you're going to need this this special uh, component called GH Python, um, which is essentially just a, a component, and we'll get to components shortly. But it's a component in Grasshopper that allows you to write out out uh, Python functions. Um, and so, and what you need to do that here, it's you can download it from Food for Rhino. This is where a lot of uh, a lot of plugins for Rhinoceros and and other sorts of developments uh, on Rhino and Grasshopper are, are are all sort of kept together. And what you have to do, you'll just have to create an account and then log in to download. Um, and then and then, so I'm just going to type something here. Uh, well, actually, maybe maybe I'll uh, I'll sort of pause it for a second so you guys don't see my username or email. Uh, but I'll be right back after hitting login. Okay, and once you're logged in, then you're just able to click on this. You'll see it changes to a download button, and you just click on download, and it will download GH Python for you. Um, I, I'm I'm just going to save this file, and then you'll see what we're going to do with it in a second. Um, and then actually, you know, that's, that's enough for our web browser. Let's actually start, uh, start bringing everything together now. Um, so, okay. All right. Let's, so let's open Rhinoceros. You should, you should already, um, you know, have it installed, I guess, as I said. So click on that and open Rhinoceros, which will launch our 3D interface. And you know what? How about I say while that's while that's waiting, let's, I'm just going to show you the GH Python, what, what actually downloaded there. Um, and so if I go into my Firefox downloads, you'll see it's a special type of, of file called the GHA file. And I'm just going to open the containing folder of this. Um, and not, not to make you guys see all my email and everything, but, or sorry, not email, all my files. Um, but, but yes, but so you have this green colored GH Python file. And what we're going to do with that is, all right, so going back to the Rhino interface that is now open, um, and I'm just going to go into the perspective view because we'll be mostly working in that by double clicking on perspective. Um, and actually, well, you'll notice also I have a white background and you will likely have a, a gray background, but you can always change that by looking in the, the Rhino options and then under, uh, under appearance, there's the ability to change that background color if you want to do that. But more importantly, sorry, that was an optional sort of thing to decide. So once you have Rhino open, you just need to open Grasshopper by typing Grasshopper and you'll see it auto, auto completes it there. So you just have to hit enter. And that's going to launch the Grasshopper Visual Scripting interface. Okay, and so the the Grasshopper interface opens. Um, you can see maybe it doesn't necessarily open as a full window. Maybe it might open off to the side a bit. Um, but what you need to do, importantly, what you need to do once you have Grasshopper open, is that you just need to drag and drop GH Python onto the Grasshopper canvas. And I'm, I'm not going to do that right now because I actually already have it installed. But once you drag and drop that, you should see. So I mean, you'll, you'll have uh, I, you don't necessarily have all the tabs I have up here, but you will have a Maths tab. And you look at under the Maths tab, you should see there's this little Python component. Um, and you know, and I can drag and drop that onto the canvas now. And uh, I mean, the important thing is for you guys to just check what that is. But essentially, all, all the Ladybug and Honeybee components started off like this, as Python, just normal Python components. And this, you know, this component just basically allows you to, to script something in Python. Um, for example, you know, we can make a simple addition one, uh, addition component here by typing x plus y equals a. Um, and then it's giving me an error because we need to change type hints and stuff. But but just this is just to give you a basic idea of, of what the what the kind of structure of Ladybug and Honeybee is. Um, but yeah, we also have to put in inputs here. You don't 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 worry about following this part. This is just to give you guys a sense of actually what what Ladybug and Honeybee is built off of. But but you can do things like you know x plus y uh, equals z or equals a. Sorry in this case. Okay, all right. Well, let's see what the error is here. Um, ah, it seems like I just uh, I just wrote it in the wrong order. But I mean, so you guys can get a sense if I put it like this in terms of a equals x plus y, and then hit OK. You see, you know, we can we can write basic functions inside of here, and and this is all of the ladybug functions are essentially made this way. All right, so that was that was just a side, just to show you guys what GH Python is. And the last thing that you need in order to install this is you need the actual Ladybug and Honeybee components. And those you can get those you can get 
by going to the Ladybug and Honeybee website, which is it's the first thing that shows up when you uh, when you type Ladybug Honeybee Grasshopper, um, and it's and this is our main Grasshopper page where we where we'll sort of post all of our updates and everything. But all you have to do is come here, and then there's a link to download Ladybug and Honeybee. Uh, and once you click on that, uh, that will bring you also to another Food for Rhino link where, where you can then download the, the release, the most latest release of, of Ladybug and Honeybee. And that's actually when you click on this. So I'm already signed in here. You guys know that you might have to make an account. But that brings you to essentially to our, our box link where finally you can download the, uh, all of the components. Oh, actually, I'm going to open it with Windows Explorer. It's probably a good way to do it. Um, and I'm uh, and so you see actually what happens is all of these are all of the individual components of uh, of Ladybug and Honeybee and all these these individual things that we're going to be working with. Um, so I'm just going to go one folder up and uh, and let's see I'm going to cut and paste this file onto folder in my desktop. We'll just call it uh, Ladybug and Honeybee components. And I'm gonna gonna paste. I mean, you guys already know generally how to unzip a weather. Uh, sorry, unzip a a uh, a file. But I'm just going to extract it, and you'll see. Oh, it actually made a little folder for me already. So you guys can. You don't necessarily have to make a new folder before doing that. But the important thing is, once it's all unzipped, you have to take and select all of these components, all 216 of our wonderful components and drag them and drop them onto the grasshopper canvas. Um, and again, I'm not going to do this right now because I already have it installed, but once you guys do that, um, uh, once you do that, you should see that you have a ladybug and honeybee tab. And, uh, and the important, well, the one that we're going to be working with all this time is, is ladybug. Um, and so, so we'll be mostly sticking to this, but you guys may eventually want to get into deeper stuff with honeybee. Um, but the important thing is that you have these toolbars and now, now you're ready to, to delve in deep and, um, and, and, and start experimenting. So that's a basic uh, summary of what Ladybug and Honeybee are and how to install them. And in the next video, we're going to start actually getting in deep and, and using Ladybug. All right, I'll see you guys there.